What's good, y'all? So today we're going to talk about the six ghost situation. The first thing I want to talk about is our officials. So we decided to run officials. It's good content, good entertainment, etc. Like everyone knows this. So we run officials. He wins the first officials. Second one, I win. Um, after that, we probably should have just stopped because, you know, we, we did one on my ping, one on his ping. But guess what? After he loses, he wants to do another official and then another official. And all of the officials we did, three of the officials that we did, right, were on central ping. I'm an East player. Of course, I'm going to lose that. I would lose that against the average player, <laughs> actually. I do not play on central ping at all. I haven't played on central ping probably since like a year ago. And I recently moved too. So my, my like lag is way worse than it was like a month ago. So yeah, uh, I just wanted to clarify that all of our officials were on central ping except one. And, you know, like I said, I would probably lose to an average player on off of my ping. So now that we've talked about the officials, you guys need to just stop the drama. Me and Six Ghost don't have beef, nothing like that. And we're both good players. We both are good at different things. I'm not a 1v1 player, really. He does 1v1s more than I do. Um, I've actually joined one of his trainings before, and like they were 1v1ing and stuff. I don't do that. I tend to stay in public lobbies, and I'm always in like giant fights with like multiple crews, etc. And that's what I'm good at. I'm good at getting raided and fighting back and raiding people. I'm really good at that. And what I mean is, I'm not talking about getting jumped. I'm talking about like how crews fight each other in public lobbies. You know what I mean? So. Another thing I want to talk about is Six Ghost getting raided by my crew. You guys are misinformed by that, so I want to like clarify everything. Because what what it may what it seems like right now is that I raided him just because I can't kill him alone, and that's what you guys are apparently thinking, which makes zero sense. I wouldn't do that. Um, if I wanted to fight Six Ghost in a public lobby, you know, I would just run officials with him. It doesn't make sense. So, you know, I. I was in the public lobby because my friend was getting raided by his crew. And Six Ghost might not say that he called a raid, but his crew was fighting my member and they were jumping him. So I decided I was going to, you know, go ahead and call a raid on them because, you know, it's not fair that my crew member is getting like 1v4'd in a public lobby and he has no help. So when he asked for help, we all joined. And then that's when Six Ghost continues to say that He's getting jumped. It's unfair. Well, how do you think my crew member felt before we all joined? He felt the exact same way. And just because you have a following and because you're known, you can complain to your fans and they'll believe you. But if my friend that isn't known goes and complains, it won't, it won't go noticed. So, you know, that's the situation from that. Uh, I didn't just jump him because I wanted to. I, I had a raid and I had a reason behind it. You get jumped. Because you jumped. It's, it's consequences, you know? And that's just how it was. And that's how most of my fights go. I don't just jump people. That's, that's so unreasonable. Anytime that someone gets jumped and they complain, guess whose fault it is? It's theirs. They raid me. They jump me. They always start the problem. They fight me first. And then what happens? They get, outnum they get outnumbered and filled. And filled on. So, you know? And now that we've discussed that, I do want to say this, though. I respect Six Ghost as a content creator. He respects me probably. Um, I respect that he's a content creator doing what he does best, making content for his fans, helping them, you know, have good entertainment and doing what his fans ask and just being a content creator. I respect all content creators that do that. And I don't have beef with anyone in the hood. People argue and complain and it's a lot, a lot of the fans that start toxicity. But, uh, you know, I've never really went and, like, dissed Six Ghost in any of my videos. I've posted him. It's just clips. If you take offense to that, that's just weird because it's content. That's what the whole game's about. You're supposed to fight. You're supposed to clip. You're supposed to get jumped. You're supposed to jump. And, you know, the amount of times I've jumped is all because of a reason. And you have to understand that. You can't just go and spread false information. Um, another time we fought was there was an exploiter trying to help me. And I didn't know who it was. And I decided, you know, I was going to get him banned. So I, I told Six Ghosts in DMs, I said, yo, I stuck the exploiter in the ground. So he has to log. He logged. He never joined back. I also banned the exploiter for him. But in his video, he goes to say that I had an exploiter helping me. And people were saying that I needed exploiters, which it was not true because I literally banned him, etc. But the last time we just fought, Six Ghosts literally had an exploiter helping him. 
And did you hear me say anything about it? No. I was getting auto-killed at least, like, every five seconds after Six Ghost, like, was getting, like, jumped and everything. Um, Six Ghost eventually logged, but his exploiter was just helping him. And, you know, he probably didn't know the exploiter, but he was helping Six Ghost. So it's the same situation. But I never said anything about it because I told you I don't complain. I don't care. It's whatever. It's a public lobby. Shit happens. That's how the game is. Now we ran officials, okay? I'll let Six Ghost have the wins. I don't care. But if we did three officials on East Ping, he's not winning. I'm sorry. He's not winning all of those officials because I would be on the advantage of Ping. And, you know, him lagging is his own problem. That's not my fault. I spike constantly. On public lobbies, I'm always red ping. So, um, yeah, it's it's just, you know, his internet. It's not my fault. Um, I, when we were doing 1v1s, I was constant 80, 90 ping. I'm used to 60 and 40, 50. So, anyways, if you want to watch the 1v1s from his POV, his channel, you know, you know where to go. But other than that, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Hold on.